Talking zucchini bread. And, and zucchini. soup. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Because it's that time of year where you're going to see zucchini everywhere on sale because there's going to be so much of it. It's a bumper crop. It's a what? Bumper crop. No, I, a, I liked your hand motion. Bumper crop. Yeah, there you go. It's a summer bumper crop. Bumper zucchini. crop. So, what are you going to do with all the zucchini? Well, uh -huh. we're going to tell you yeah. with Tinky Weisblatt from TinkyCooks.com. She's a singer, a writer, a cook. She's just She's a renaissance everything. lady. That's what can I say? Yeah, you're, the, you're, you're like Michelangelo. <laughs> and she has a fascinator that's fascinating. I am fascinating. And I love zucchini. And I feel that zucchini is the, it's the fruitcake of summer. People are mean about zucchini. Okay. There are all these jokes about how you go and you hide it on your neighbor's doorstep in the dark of night so you don't have to have so much zucchini. I've already gotten zucchini in a bowl on my doorstep. I kid you not. I really have. I have well, a neighbor who loves giving me zucchini. So here's something you can do with it. And what I like about both of the recipes that we're making today is that you can freeze them and eat them when there's no more zucchini. So that's kind of cool. But you that's can awesome. also eat them right now. This is a really easy soup that comes from my friend Betsy. Who Thank lives you, Betsy. In Heath and New York City. Good life, huh? Yeah. So we that's have in our around. pot here some onion and garlic. They're actually garlic scapes because that's what my farm share had. And of course, zucchini and just the smallest amount of olive oil. And you start with the onion and garlic and saute for about five minutes. Then I put in the zucchini for about five more minutes. Then we're going to pour in some chicken, chicken stock. stock. It could be vegetable stock. It could be water. This is a really easy recipe. And if you don't have the exact proportions, use whatever you've got. And then we just grab leaves of basil, but if you'd rather use dill, if you'd rather use cilantro with a little curry powder, you can get all different flavors. Ooh. Well, this is good, too, it because... It has such a comforting smell. And, yeah. and a lot of people have too much basil this time of year, yeah. too, and they're thinking, oh, I'm sick of pesto. And I love... This is... You're going to see in a minute what a really strong and delicious flavor this gives you. I just love it. So we just throw that in there, and then, of course, we would continue cooking if we were continuing to cook, but we're going to move on because we have some made up. So so how long in the process is this? How long do we let this simmer About for? 15 minutes, until it gets semi-covered, until, until the zucchini are vaguely softened. Then, I'm good, the so, uh, stove is off. That's always good. That's for the best, yeah. Then here is, I divided it in half. So this is only a half recipe, and that's only a half recipe. Mm -hmm. So you can see here that the zucchini is uh, getting softer, yeah. and it looks more chicken stocky. And the leaves have gone. Now, I'm using an immersion blender. You can use a regular blender. Just be aware if you use the regular blender that you want to process it in small batches because it's hot. Can you put heat right. in those in those big blenders? You can. You just want to. It's amazing how fast things explode. explode. Mm -hmm. So you want to just use, do a little bit at a time. So that's why I brought along the handy dandy immersion blender. Makes it a little easier. Yeah. Yeah, I can also make a mess with this, I have <laughs> good, to say, good. but I'll try so not to. We need protective eyewear yeah, or something fun today. while you're cooking. Yeah. Yeah, I love this thing. This is the an other, incredibly healthy recipe. Too. It is. There's only that little bit of olive oil. I did say, I forgot to say a little salt and pepper, although can't remember whether they're in here or not. We'll see in a minute. I'll okay. say, we'll be able to tell you. You can always add them later. But, but most of the flavor comes from the zucchini and the basil. Well, and it's amazing, too, because you have these, like, this is going to end up being a, a creamy-esque soup, right, but, but with no cream. Oh. That was exciting. This is why we I get to wear some sort of headgear. I got a little zucchini on my hat. You know, Never mind. It tastes great. I'm going to cover This is the money you know maker what we're gonna here. Do? We can't we're have gonna it getting hurt. Yeah, if I had it in a bigger pot, it would be safer, but that's all right. You know what? And we're just going to taste it like this chunky, okay? Sounds you want to taste it? I, I want to taste it, of sure. Okay, of so let's grab our. I had a ladle. Oh, it's right there. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Teamwork. Thanks to you. Thanks to Betsy, by the way. Yeah, Betsy, we appreciate the recipe. And again, this can be. Uh, and if you want a little bit of yogurt, there's yogurt. I do. Just a dollop. Oh man, this is so good. It tastes Wait. just like zucchini and basil, and it's so fresh tasting. Mmm. It, you know, it's the yogurt. filling too because it's a thick soup. Yeah. Exactly. You could have oh, yeah. it cold, you can have it hot. You want some um, of course yogurt? The yogurt makes it just a little bit creamy, but if you're a vegan, just skip the yogurt. And later on in the show, what huh? goes great oh, with zucchini herb soup? <laughs> but zucchini, zucchini bread? Zucchini bread. <laughs> how, uh, scale of 1 to 10, how hard is zucchini bread to make? Oh, it, which is easier and which is harder? It's, it's easy. One is easy. I'm so, one. so it's a one. Maybe 1. 1.25. All right. Oh. Well, we'll get into all that later, see where it really <laughs> falls on the scale uh, on the latter Thank half you, of the Tiki. show today. I can't wait to try this. I'm going to eat more of this soup in a bit. And still to come. I'll do it too. We're back with Tiki. <laughs> She's a food writer and more. TikiCooks.com. Apparently, a dance teacher, coach extraordinaire. 
We're making zucchini bread. We are. And we're going to prove that, that this is one of the happiest places on earth, right here, Studio 1A. I would say so, especially when you've got zucchini bread. Because oh, we're yes. using up our zucchini and we're having fun. Would somebody see if I have grated enough zucchini to fill two cups, please? Okay. Yeah, we're If on not, it. we'll grate a little more. And I'm going to start. This is uh, canola okay. oil and brown sugar. Canola this? oil and brown sugar. That, so you need a, a quite a bit of brown sugar, right? Yes, although I have to say, this recipe comes from a lovely lady named Janice Shea. Hi, Janice. Hi, lives, Janice. Hi, Janice. Lives in northern Connecticut and is about to turn 80. Are oh, you serious? Good for her. Birthday. And when she saw this recipe in my cookbook, she said, Tinky, I don't make it with that much sugar anymore. Too late. So, <laughs> okay, so next we need three eggs, please. And two cups of this, is that right? Two cups of zucchini. That looks perfect. May yeah. I? That comes great. later, though. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was just making sure we had enough. That's okay. Eggs. Two. Three. Farm fresh eggs, of course. Here we are. And two. two. And I feel three. Like a little shell never hurt anybody. A little shell gives us our calcium. There we are. <laughs> okay, then we're going to throw in a little bit of uh, this is actually three things salt, a little baking powder, and a little baking soda, amazingly. All mixed in one. You want me to throw that in yep. there now? Okay. And then cinnamon. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Mm. it. So aromatic. So warm. I know warm it's the best flavor and it and it just it works well. Well just about anything works well with zucchini. Zucchini really takes on the flavor of just about anything. Zucchini's yeah. the tofu of the garden. It is. Oh, Isn't that yeah. brilliant? And you can actually use it <laughs> in a stir fry. Okay, now a little flour, please. Oh, over here. Yeah, of sorry. Course. And if you want to put, I wouldn't put all whole wheat flour, but certainly some of that nice white whole wheat flour you can mix in with your regular flour. Go all ahead. All of this? Just throw it in. Oh, and we're good. gonna mix slowly so that we don't. We'll try not to make a mess. But well, you guys might want to. We might want to stand say, back. Yeah, these aren't my best pants, so well, good. we can mess them up. I think it's fun when you get a little a flour little all over the place. Yeah, a little crazy, exactly. And then raisins and zucchini. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's pretty easy, huh? I mean, it takes no time. You and just want to make sure you have a really extra large bowl so with high sides, yes, right? So that exactly. You can fit everything. And if you have a little bit of extra raisin and a little bit of extra zucchini, it just makes it moister. Yeah. Ooh, but then we have to be a little careful. But that's all right, because we're about <laughs> to taste it. Ooh. So I'm going to tell you what we would do with this if I had remembered my loaf pans. Okay. We, would <laughs> <laughs> we would put it in two greased loaf pans. Okay. The older and rattier, the better. I find that that, that, that makes things bake better. They're so seasoned. I get the ones that yeah. are, yes, beyond seasoned, the ones in my house, but never mind. That's and a good thing, you use them. You put them in a preheated 350 oven for 45 to minutes to an hour. You just use the toothpick to see when Can they're done. Explain this toothpick thing to me. So you pull you out and it needs to be dry. Pick. Yeah. But here's my thing. What if you put it in and there's a wet ingredient there, like a piece of zucchini or, or maybe a chocolate chip? Well, the, these zucchinis are so um, dispersed that that doesn't happen here. Okay. Yeah, if it's a chocolate chip, then you say, oh, that's just the chocolate chip. Let's try another area. That's and you just point, turn your, you turn your toothpick center. over mm -hmm. and try again. Okay, I get it. And it looks like this at the end? It looks like this at the end and it tastes like this, so taste it, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't mind if I just to bite. You can put nuts in. Oh, wow. I mean, it's very, you know, kids love it. And now, you're, you do oh, have zucchini amazing. in there. Yeah, it's really. Yeah, yeah you're sneaking vegetables you're into sneaking the kids. You're sneaking vegetables into the kids. They and, won't know and you, what And them. as Janice tells us, we could use a little less sugar if we need. Yeah. And it tastes like cinnamon raisin bread with exactly. some butter. Oh, mm. no. I'm not just happy. Thank you very oh, Tinky, so why, don't, why don't you have a bunch of it? Thank with you to zucchini, Janice, too. too. Thank you, Janice. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Janice. Happy birthday, Janice. Thank you, Tinky. Always so nice to have you here.